Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric Diaz, your future real estate agent. Today, I got a new neighborhood for you guys called Mustang Lake. This is actually not a very new neighborhood. It is actually almost finished, but I wanted to show you guys some of these last homes that they have building. There is a new phase coming in, so make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video to find out what that is. So this home that we're looking at today is built by Highland Homes, one of my favorite builders. This is a 74 foot lot home. The prices are starting at around the low 800s. They do have quite a few quick moving homes. A lot of the prices now um, for all of these homes are actually gonna be more towards the 1 million. Um, but again, these are fully um, quick moving homes. They still, still have some floor plans in the 800s available, but of course, once you start doing upgrades and everything like that, that price point is gonna go up. So the plan that we're looking at in this video is the 608, which is um, about a five bedroom, five and a half bath, and is sitting at around 4,900 square feet. So it is definitely a really, really big home. Unfortunately, they don't have any of these plans available of, available anymore in this neighborhood so if you are looking for uh, which plans they have available maybe which quick moving homes feel free to reach out to me my contact info is on the screen and in the link in the description i can send you a list of all of the homes available by highland homes in this neighborhood um, so this neighborhood like i said is mustang lakes it is a really really cool neighborhood it is extremely big um, and definitely a master plan community. It has over 18 miles of trails. It's surrounded by over 20 acre parks um, with a private lake. Um, you pretty much have your own little resort on here. You have a really cool community center, which I'll show you guys towards um, some of the other videos that I post. Um, but there's a community center with tennis courts, basketball courts. You are located on the Prosper and Salina border. So you're gonna be super close to Frisco and McKinney. You can take 380 or the Dallas North Tollway. Um, you do have Pro Prosper ISD schools, which is really, really good. Um, some of those school systems for elementary school will be Sam Johnson Elementary, Rogers Middle School, and Prosper High School. Um, but the home itself is gorgeous. I mean, everything from the um, size of the rooms, the decorations they use. I mean, this bathroom right here, the tile going from the floor up the wall is beautiful. So exactly how they have this model home decorated is really, really nice. But um, Highland Homes never really disappoints. They have some really good builds. Um, this is a nice modern look to the house, but also has some of the old school um, finishes. I really like the home. It is extremely big. They definitely have a lot of big homes in this neighborhood. So right now, like I said, this is the 74 foot lots. They do have 60 foot lots, which are gonna be a little bit smaller. And the ones coming up are gonna be 100 foot lot homes. So if you're looking for something even bigger than this, make sure you reach out. They're gonna have it in this neighborhood in this really, really cool um, area right between Prosper and Salina. Right now, we're kind of checking out the upstairs. You have this nice game room area with these really cool double studies right up here. So if your kiddos are gonna be doing their homework or anything like that, they have a nice little nook here. Um, and then you have all this space to kind of design it how you want. You do have a really cool bar setup on this side, which I loved. So if you're gonna make some cool movie nights, you can put up all your treats, candy, or perhaps have a really cool bar set up here for whenever you have a guest over. Um, now, this is one of the coolest rooms up here. So this isn't the master. This is gonna be more of like a, a in-law suite or anything like that. It is humongous. I mean, the size that you could put for the bed, you have two nightstands, enough for a little desk there, and look at the bathroom. It is gorgeous really really big shower um, you have a nice room for the toilet sometimes they make those little um, rooms super tiny but you have a good amount of room in there really good shower i mean this would be fine enough for me for a master bathroom uh, but it is not the master's downstairs and it is even better so make sure you stick around uh, but we'll go ahead uh, downstairs so you guys can check out the rest of the home
Now this neighborhood, it is really, really big, which is nice. So if you're more of the outdoors person and you're looking to have a lot of trails in the neighborhood, perhaps you go running like I do. I just kind of started um, running a lot and having more than 18 miles in your neighborhood is a plus. You don't have to drive anywhere to go on trails. This neighborhood's actually really, really pretty. So now that we're downstairs, you have the beautiful storage area and then we'll go and check out this formal dining room here right in the middle. Um, it is a really nice spot actually. Um, you kind of have the backdrop of your huge living room. Um, it's actually located fairly nice. It still feels like it's in its own spot, but you do have this really nice open layout. And then right here, I actually want to show you guys the media room. It's actually downstairs, which is a little interesting. Um, very nice media room. I don't know how I feel about the couch setup since it's on the sides, but it's uh, pretty nice and spacious. You do have washer and dryer room down here, and this is how you do it right here. A ton of storage, which is awesome. But now we go back to the living room. Extremely high ceilings here. You have a beautiful fireplace. Definitely a great place to entertain. You have those um, doors on the windows here for the backyard. So if you're gonna be having a party, those are easy to kind of keep open, have the guests come in and out. And look at that kitchen. This is what you call an island right in the middle. I wanna show you guys the size of these ceilings though. It is a really, really nice living room. Feels super spacious. Um, you even have a bathroom downstairs here for all of your guests, perhaps coming in and out of the backyard or just so they don't have to go upstairs or towards the front of the house. But this kitchen is gorgeous. I mean, this island is super nice. I love the countertops they used. All of the nice kind of old school finishing right above the stove. Even have a little study area here, which I thought was cool. But um, really nice kitchen, a ton of space. If you're gonna be meal prepping like I do, you are gonna be able to do it in this kitchen. Another really neat thing is this little area in the middle here, this living space, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. We'll check out the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. Super, super nice. You have enough room to pretty much have your own living room. You can fit a full-size couch right here in this nook, and then you have all of your space for a humongous bed, nightstands, everything like that. And then this is the master bath. So you have this really nice kind of powder room area here on the left. You have the closet space here, a ton of room, so no need to worry about that. And then on this side is uh, most likely his sink. Um, and then you have the shower, her sink with all the extra storage next to it. And then you have the toilet. Really nice shower as well um, and a decent sized tub. So we'll go check out that little um, room right in the middle right here which is super nice I love how it was access from the master so you guys kind of have your own private patio which is super nice it is fully covered so it does feel very private you can set up a nice little area here next to the fireplace I mean this is awesome but again if you guys are interested in this house in particular there are a ton of other builders Feel free to reach out. My contact info is on the screen and then the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope I get to help you find your future home. And I will see you at the closing table.